Hello everybody, this is David Biocchi speaking and uh, here we are with my intermarket uh, weekly analysis. So let's start with the euro dollar and uh, after this uh, double top uh, we had a breakout here with a pullback. So the breakout here, pullback here, then a movement down. Uh, the target remained the same around 1.10. So let's say that after a long period in which the market was in a sideway, and still is in a sideway. Well, recently it went uh, uh, very close to the price of 1.11. That is, in my opinion, the last uh, watershed, uh, uh, let's say, in, on the road toward the target here. So let's say that this is the present sideway, 1.1480 and 1.11. So let's see where the market is going. And for sure, uh, we will see something interesting this week about it. Let's switch immediately after to the commodities. In this moment, we have the gold around 1,900, but we have seen in the last week that the gold uh, literally be, uh, behaved as a uh, safe haven. So the market was looking for protection when the war, let's say, uh, exploded in Ukraine. So what happened was that the gold was very close to 1,975, exactly the price that we can see here, and then was rejected and, and back to 1,900 uh, here. So let's see uh, what uh, is going to happen in the next session. Don't forget that we also have here a trend line that works like that. So it's a quite interesting situation. And uh, another interesting situation is the one regarding the crude oil where we have seen the market moving above that $100 per barrel that I highlighted to you several times ago as a magnet, as a fatal attraction, uh, as a price. So in my opinion, this price of 100 will work a lot as a resistance. It's a, it's a rounded price, very important price. And in my opinion, this is, let's say, not something that we can consider a target because if we look for a resistance, it's a little bit uh, above at 108, 110. But in my opinion, this is a very important target. Let's see what is going to happen in short term. Let's start also with the um, uh, stock indices and with the Euro stock 50. Uh, the movement of the last week was below the price of 4,000 and also below the price of uh, uh, 3,900, two supports that we uh, find on the way, on the road. So the market tried to react, but was unable to be back uh, in the previous range, so above the price of 4,000. And that's why, uh, let's say, it's not a surprise if uh, there was another movement down in the beginning of this week. So let's see what is going to happen, but uh, the situation is not so good for this index. And the same situation we have on the DAX. The DAX was below the price of 14,800 that worked for a long time as a main support of the whole movement that started in April 2021 and lasted since uh, uh, one week ago. So immediately after we have seen the price around 14,000 and even less that I highlighted as a, a zone, uh, look at this, it's a quite relevant zone that we have here that work as a support here, uh, trading and congestion area, all this one and then the main support around uh, 13,200. So let's say I expect the market even to come a little bit back because any reaction was unable and was rejected here, unable to go back uh, to the previous area. So this is a quite uh, uh, interesting situation and imagine also Europe is more and more involved, especially also uh, even the US in this situation uh, involving Ukraine because the story is here based in Europe. Uh, let's say something also about the US stock indices and let's start for this time with the DAX, uh, sorry, with the NASDAQ. Why the NASDAQ? Because the NASDAQ was the first to react. And why did the NASDAQ react as first? Because there's nothing uh, else so far from the Ukraine situation as the NASDAQ is. And that's why the, the NASDAQ already sold, already compressed, was the first one to react. So the NASDAQ reacting worked as a, let's say, um, as a leader and the other index uh, went uh, behind. So what happened was that uh, we have a clear idea now that 13,000 is a price 
but it's not a simple price. It's the support that we have on the Nasdaq right now. And the reaction drove the market uh, above here. So the situation is that we are uh, uh, above the price of 13,700. That is uh, the first support here. And then we have another one here. So let's say that uh, this is clear right now and we have a clear idea on what uh, uh, will happen. I think that in the first time we have seen the panic in the beginning of the last week, we have seen the panic. And right now we will see something very different. We will see some a very detailed stock picking that will help us finding some stocks that are impacted by uh, and some sectors obviously impacted by the situation in Ukraine and they will go down probably again some others that will receive a boost by this situation especially here in Europe we have some companies that are involving with the uh, let's say weapons and so on that are doing really very good uh, obviously is something that we will see in the future and I personally expect not only more investment in the dollar area instead of a euro area okay but even uh, another uh, let's say rotation in the market and so some uh, re some some growth stock will come back obviously not all the one but the best one will come back and uh, maybe all, some old economy stock will be uh, sold. So this is the idea that I have in mind, but uh, let's say on the index, we just uh, have a possibility right now to see the, the, the good shape that the Nasdaq has right now. Yes, the S&P 500 did good too, but not as well as the Nasdaq did. But even here, we have a clear idea. 4,100 is the support. So this area, okay, don't forget about this area. This is the area that in the future will work as a support. Below this price, we will have a very bearish market. Above this price, the market will continue in this, uh, uh, let's say, large trading range that, that we can see here. So this is a story, in my opinion, right now. Uh, last, let's say, let's have a look at the Russell. The Russell, uh, after, uh, after moving in a sideway between 2,100 to 2,300 that more or less worked uh, around here. Now is in another trading range. 2,100 is now the top, okay. And we have a support here at 1,900. So let's say that until the moment we are in this sideway, the market will remain like that. Let's say that above this price, we are back to the next era, okay. I don't know if it will happen. Don't think so, but uh, let's see. Uh, below this price, we will continue this trading range for this index uh, representing the what I call the street, US street economy. Thank you very much for being here. See you next week. Ciao from Davide from Italy. Bye-bye.